The coastal town of Ocean Springs, Mississippi may be off the beaten path, but it has become known as a culinary destination with an artsy vibe and non-stop events. Block after block, a canopy of 300-year-old oak trees, shade attractions like sculptures and murals, art galleries, arts and craft shops, ethnic restaurants, and churches dating back to the 1800s. Throughout the year, both tourists and locals fill the town, enjoying its charms, cottage-style shops, and pathways peppered with public art, connecting to the sandy shores of the Gulf of Mexico. A neon sign glows outside the same soda fountain counter where Elvis Presley once sat. The Tato Nut Donut Shop, where the specialty treat is made with potato flour, has been family-owned and operated since the 1960s. It's no wonder Ocean Springs has been named one of the 50 best small towns in America and has been profiled as a hot travel destination by the Washington Post and Southern Living. The downtown's vibrancy today makes it hard to imagine that it once seemed a ghost town. Ocean Springs' long history dates back to its founding in 1699 as a French Louisiana outpost. But over time, the Gulf Coast town was forgotten and its economy was stagnating when the Main Street program began in 1990. Change was slow and steady with each new business that opened and each new artwork added to the street. Ocean Springs Main Street led with events to spark growth. More than 30 years ago, the community began the Peter Anderson Arts and Craft Festival to celebrate the artist who opened a master pottery business in Ocean Springs back in the 1920s. What began as a few vendors selling their wares in a parking lot grew each year in size, activity, and attendance. Today, the festival draws more than 120,000 people from several states and fills two days with arts, music, and food. A recent economic impact study proved the event is a major catalyst that brings $22 million to the area. The Main Street program used this data to show the power of Main Street and its events and landed a major sponsor, Blue Moon Brewing Company. As the festival grew, Ocean Springs added more events to the calendar, attracting greater interest among entrepreneurs. The town now has 100 restaurants with a cluster of 32 downtown, which has made it a major foodie destination. Ocean Springs Main Street launched a series of events to promote the food niche, and the feet on the street reflect its growing popularity. In fact, the Food Network has been visiting Ocean Springs, channeling even more national attention to the community. When the historic high school was slated for demolition, Ocean Springs Main Street stepped in to get it listed on the state's most endangered list and help save it. The school reopened as the Mary C. O'Keefe Cultural Center, a downtown facility featuring a theater, music studio, cooking classes, events, and meeting space that the entire community can use. The strength of Ocean Springs people and their love for downtown helped them withstand the devastation caused by Hurricane Katrina. Most business owners lost their homes and ended up living in their shops without power or water. Ocean Springs Main Street became the clearinghouse for information and a symbol of hope. It led strong advocacy efforts to earmark federal recovery funds, not just for its downtown, but for all Gulf Coast towns. Facade rehabs and streetscape enhancements helped the town emerge even stronger. As the recovery continued, almost every restaurant created an outdoor dining patio. Infrastructure improvements made the street more bike and pedestrian friendly. Businesses reopened and new ones relocated to this Gulf Coast downtown. From ghost town to tourist stop, Ocean Springs shows that perseverance will help downtown weather any storm and become a model for the incremental success that adds up to a great American mainstream.